Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today I thought I'd go ahead and just share with you how I decorate the top of some of these little tea cakes and at the same time then I can also show you our new itty bitty bits um, stamp set, the buttons that go with it, as well as the punches. Um, and so let's get started. I'll show you how I made the basic idea behind this and some of the other ones. So I've gone ahead and wrapped my tea light. You can see my other video on um, the dimensions and everything on that. And I've pre-scored my slit in the top of our icing that will go on top of our little cake. And so I'm using Pretty in Pink ink from a Stampin' Spot set, which I love those little Stampin' Spots. Um, I believe you get 12 small little versions of Stampin' Up's ink in the different color um, tones. And it's really nice because then you get little samples of everything. So that's what they look like, the Stampin' Spots. And again, here is, from the Summer Mini, the Itty Bitty Bits stamp set. And um, there's coordinating buttons, so you punch out, um, and it has punches that match as well. So there's three punches that come in that set. It's a punch pack. So you get a flower, a small circle, and a little kind of crossy looking clover from that. And let's go ahead and I'll use the flower um, punch from that one. Whoops, holy cow, that went flying. Let's see, let's do three. So I've got three flowers from that and from the buttons that match. Look how that is, isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, can't hardly take it. It's so cute. I think this is so clever that there's the punch that matches the shape of the button because that way um, whatever color you have in the background of it is going to um, you know, become the button color. So, you know, maybe you'd want a pattern or you've got something else. So whatever you have going with your card or your project, paper project, you now can have the exact match but button with it. It's so exciting. I think it's such a clever idea. So, so clever. Um, let's see. I also, um, I think I'm going to use some dazzling diamonds, but I need to go and get those. So just one second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have my dazzling diamonds and I think I'm going to go ahead and just pour them into this, um, oh, the Tupperware container. It's actually like a Ziploc one. It makes it a little easier to work with it. And so I'm going to get started with putting some dazzling diamonds on our project here. And I'll go ahead and just, I think I'll put some, oops, come on Tombow. There we go. Maybe put a dot on each of these. That one won't quite be centered. Ooh, that'll have a lot of diamonds on that one. There we go. And pick this up very carefully. Grab a spoon. And I'm sorry, you're probably not seeing this very well. Got to get a little higher tripod. It's on my wish list. There we go. That'll get it. Ooh, now it's a pretty little cake topper. Look how cute. And Tombow will dry clear, so I'm going to put the buttons on. And let's see, where's my? I need one more. Oh, there it is. It's about ready to have to punch another one. And again, this punch set will go perfectly um, with these buttons. 
when I had seen these, I thought, oh my goodness graciousness, I'm going to have to have these right now. So excited about this. Okay, so those will dry clear. I did the same thing on this one, and you can see where, you know, you can't see any of the glue. Okay, so I think what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and put this, um, the frosting, on top of our little cake. Oh my gosh, is that not adorable? I love it. Okay, squish those down and around a little bit. And then the same thing, um, well, I'll take my Tombow and I'm going to try to look at putting this on about third. So kind of try to place my glue dot or the, you know, the Tombow in about a third, a third, a third of the triangle and put my little covered buttons on here. There we go. Okay, I'll come back and I'll probably do this a little more. Um, let's go ahead and just get that taken care of right now. You can see where I need a little more of the glue and the Dazzling Diamonds glitter. Okay. I guess I'll hit all of these so that they all have more of a little bead to them. And then I'm going to let this dry completely and I'll take off our little, and then that will be our little birthday cake and it'll have a very similar appearance as that. But that's how you can just go about starting to decorate our little tea light cakes um, and how the, the, um, the punches and the buttons for the itty bitty series go together. Alright, so hopefully that gives you some ideas, guys. Happy crafting!